Well, I'd say that's just about uh, what we like. You know, that's, that's more like it here inside uh, the Dufour Center. Bob Trossett alongside head coach Matt Donahue, Chris and George, and Mary Kelly after a big win against a pretty solid Wesley College team. Coach, we'll start with you. Two weeks break. What'd you guys do? What got into them? Yeah, I just, well, I thought we had a great game before break in our last game where offensively we started to kind of figure some things out, moving the ball a lot better, sharing the ball, playing inside out. Um, you know, first half, I, I think we got away from that a little bit today, but, you know, kind of adjusted very well in the second half. And I think the girls just did a great job moving the ball around, making that extra pass, finding the best opening. Um, it's, it's been a work in progress for us, but hopefully we're turning the corner here and, and actually starting to do some things. Chris, and you were part of that third quarter run where you guys really started to, to outstretch that lead. What was kind of your approach to that third quarter for the first one? Yeah, so we definitely got the ball in more, which really helped us seeing all the kickouts to like Becca and Ashley. It really helped us knock our shots down. Um, and we also started to push the ball more, which really helped. I'd imagine you're pretty happy to see this, this gal <laughs> yeah. back, Mary Kelly, yeah. making, her, making her debut here at the DuFour Center coming off that injury from, from last season. Yeah. Kind of give everybody a sense of what you've been dealing with so far this year. Um, so I had like cartilage in my knee that I had to get um, fixed and so I have been doing physical therapy like since the first scrimmage. I was out since the first scrimmage so like this is my, I've just been doing therapy. And as soon as you got in there you, st you saw it. Her, her yeah. presence was felt uh, not only down low but offensively as well. You were control it seemed like she was uh, controlling the glass a little bit. A little bit, a little bit of a touch too from from, from downtown. What's going to be your approach personally as as you go through the second half of the season? Um, well, I think our offense is like today we really showed like our best offense, like swinging the ball and moving the ball inside and out. And I think that is like what's going to give us. The coach, win. coach, we talked about momentum building all season long, right? And you got an opportunity to keep that going. Uh, Twenty four hours from now, you'll, yep. you'll take on Newman right here at Catholic again. How do you do it? Yeah, I mean, they're a tough team. Obviously, they've got kids that can knock down the three-pointer uh, shot on the wing there. They've got Saunders, one of the best players you'll find anywhere in the conference and region, so we're going to have to be real disciplined on defense. And then offensively, whether they're man or zone, we're going to have to approach the game with the very same you know, approach that we had in that second half. We got out in transition. We got Poindexter Sid running up and down the floor there. She got herself moving. We got great contribution out of our bench. And when we're at our best, we're able to go 9 and 10 deep and no drop off. And that was the thing that was most exciting today is that level stayed high. And so that lead went from 18 to 30 as the deeper we went into the bench. And that's kind of what we're looking for. So hopefully I, I would imagine the recipe is going to be the same. Let's push the ball. Let's play inside out, get our bigs involved inside, and then play great defense. Well, we'll be looking forward to that tomorrow, 24 hours from now against Newman. Coach Donahue, Chris, and George. Mary, welcome back. Mary Kelly's back mixing it up here for Catholic. We'll be right back tomorrow. Newman, 3 o'clock.